these particular problems deal with this particular relationship that we've got here. One mole is equal to molecular weight in grams is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 particles. I go further and say particles means uh, molecules when we're talking about compounds and atoms when we're talking about elements and 22.414 litres of a gas at STP. The other relationship is that there's going to be a certain number of atoms in one molecule. Alright, so looking at the first one, it asks how many carbon atoms are in two molecules of C12H22O11. Alright, so we're going to start off with two molecules. C12H22O11. And we know that uh, molecules will go on the bottom. The reason for that is because it has to cancel with the molecules up here. So molecules C12H22O11. And we'll need to put up here atoms of C. Because that's what we want. Now we know there's going to be a relationship here between the atoms of carbon and molecules of C12H22O11. I'm hoping what you can see is that there's 12 atoms of carbon in one molecule of C12H22O11. This line here means per or in and it also means that these two things have a relationship and that they equal each other in some way and there are 12 atoms of carbon in each molecule of C12H22O11 which is how I come up with that. The answer is going to come out to be 24 atoms of carbon. I just want to point out that as far as significant figures go, 2 has infinite significant figures because it is a counting number. You can't have two and a half molecules, for example. So that presents no problems with significant figures over here when we put down 24. Alright, so that's for that problem. Let's take a look at the next one. In the next problem, in what number of hydrogen atoms are in 4.0 moles of NH42HPO4? And what we're going to do is we're going to start out with 4.0 moles of NH4 to HPO4. We'll do times and then a line. Now we know moles of NH4 to HPO4 go on the bottom, so that this can cancel. Alright, so those two things will cancel now. And what I said earlier was the particles here could mean molecules or atoms. Molecules when we're dealing with a compound and atoms when we're dealing with an element. Now here we're dealing with a compound, so we're going to have to deal with molecules here. And we need now to find a relationship between molecules of NH4 to HPO4 and moles of NH4 to HPO4. And we get that from up here. We can see that one mole is equal to this many molecules, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And then we'll go down here with times in a line. Now we know that molecules... of NH42 HPO4 goes on the bottom here and that's to make these two things cancel and we're still after number of hydrogen atoms so we know that there's going to have to be a relationship now between atoms of hydrogen and molecules of NH42 HPO4 and what I want you to see here is this 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 so that's 9 atoms of hydrogen in every one molecule of NH42 HPO4 and that's going to lead us to our answer. Alright, just let me point out that when you're putting this into your calculator for 6.022 times 10 to the 23, I really recommend that you use the EE button and type it in this way, 6.022 EE23, which means times 10 to the power of 23. If you don't have an EE button, it's possible it might be EXP on your calculator.